Hey guys and welcome to another redstone tutorial. Just imported this world to 1.8. Previously I'd only used it in older versions and um, come across a few weird issues. Um, not sure if any of you guys have imported an old world to 1.8 but there's some weird like shadowing issues and stuff where sometimes things will show up like very very dark. But um, anyways this is by request on how to make a piston push down a piston and have both of them extend and then retract again. Um, you don't have to use this as a door, you can use it for whatever it is you're wanting to. And um, I power them here by two pressure plates. You can use a button, you can use a switch or lever, you know, whatever you want. But anyways, you know, we step here, they retract, walk through, they come back down again. Pretty basic. So now, if we walk down underneath, we will see some circuitry here. Uh, the two pressure plates are here and here. So this is the redstone wire that it powers. Comes through, uh, this is just a tiny bit of delay just so that they don't open until you start moving forward. That way, they don't come down on top of you. Uh, we come through, and then we have the wire come out up over here. come up here and now we're charging this block here and this redstone torch is what we're using to invert the signal because we want these guys to be extended most of the time now if you want them to be retracted and then have them extend when you activate your switch or pressure plate then simply delete this whole step right here and just have the redstone wire climb on up but for our intents and purposes we are using the redstone torch to invert our signal so we have our redstone wire come up. Here's where we split. Now this wire here comes up and powers the top two um, pistons. Now we have this set to one tick of delay. This is so that they will not retract until the bottom ones are already finished retracting. Because if a sticky piston is on another piston and that piston is even a tiny bit out, it will not stick to the sticky piston. So the sticky piston will retract, but you will end up with the other piston staying down below it. So we want the lower pistons to retract and then the upper ones too. So that's why we have this here. Now for the lower pistons, we have this wire here and this wire here. And basically this comes down, and if you notice, right now it is extended. Um, let's go through and take this out. Now you'll notice that this guy right now is above this wire. So if this wire were to charge, this piston, the lower piston, would not extend. It won't extend until this guy pushes it down. In which case it'll come in contact with this powered brick which will then extend it also. And we have the same thing on this side only you can't really see it because it's underneath this dirt here. So you can see it right here. So if we go through and we hook this back up again, notice that as soon as these guys get power, they extend. So it's a pretty basic um, setup. You can do them vertical also. Um, it requires, it's not as easy to hide. If you notice right now, we can walk through this tunnel and you can't really tell there's any circuitry anywhere. If they come up from the bottom, that's not really as easy to do because this block right here which gets powered for them coming up the second time, the second set of pistons, would have to be down here with nothing on top of it. Which means that, you know, you would see it from inside because it would be right here. Now you can also make them come from the sides, but that also gets a little bit more messy because then you have to have wires run on one side and then the other wires run on the other side. So if you have a piston at the second level here, you'd probably want you know the wires here or here. For the one underneath it, they would need to be on the opposite side. So if this guy's wires were here, this guy's wires would have to be on this side. But basically it's a uh, very basic setup. Um, you can use it for whatever you like. You can also come up from the bottom and have sand or gravel and have the pistons completely buried underground and just push the sand or gravel up. The only downside is this is when it retracts, it um, takes a while. You have to add a lot of time in there. Otherwise, you will end up with um, the pistons not retracting properly. 
because you have to do it as the sand falls down and it can get really really complicated um, on a server from some guys I know they have a very large door set up like this and the circuitry would fill up this whole entire room or root not room but this whole area here it's very large but anyways um, that's it for now and I'll see you guys later